this session, we will go through an overview of some of the most popular analytics tools. There are hundreds of analytics tools available in the market. This includes paid tools, free tools, specialized tools, as well as general purpose tools. A comprehensive list of tools is available on the KD Nuggets website. We've seen this slide in the analytics overview session as well. We will cover some of the most popular tools that are shown on this slide in this session. SAS Institute is a US-based developer of analytics software. They own the largest market share for advanced analytics and SAS Institute is the world's largest private software company. Interestingly, SAS began as a research project at the North Carolina State University in order to analyze agricultural data. In 1972, the grant from the university that was supporting this project stopped and because the funding stopped, the founding professors left their respective universities and they came together to found SAS Inc. From 1972 to now, it has been an incredible journey for SAS. As of 2011, SAS had more than 50,000 customer sites and 200 products. Here on this slide, we have some examples of SAS products. You can see they've got products for specific things like social network analysis, text miner, BI server. They've got domain specific tools like SAS financial management, SAS anti-money laundering and so on. Their solutions cover statistics to BI to predictive modeling. SAS also refers to the SAS language, a fourth generation programming language. The SAS Global Certification Program established in 1999 is one of the most popular certification programs in analytics. There is certification on base and advanced SAS as well as predictive modeling, administration, data management and business intelligence. At the beginning of 2005, the program had issued 5,000 certifications. As of 2011, more than 35,000 SAS certifications had been awarded in 77 different countries. SAS is also into publishing. SAS Publishing has an online bookstore and an in-house writing staff that develops product documentation for all SAS products and features. By the end of 2010, more than 160 books were published by 250 authors. So this is one of the things that distinguishes SAS from a lot of other products. They have very, very comprehensive help and they've got a lot of books and uh, some of them are really good, which talk about SAS as a tool and uh, which cover all the different products that SAS has. SAS Global Forum is a worldwide user conference held in a different city each year to promote education, training, networking and professional development. The event is led by SAS Global Users Group. An email list called SAS L was started in the 1980s and it is still active today. In 2007, SAS Global Users Group announced the formation of SASCommunity.org, an online SAS community with wiki style collaboration and information sharing. SAS employees are also openly invited to contribute and there are events, articles, and even a SASopedia, which uh, comes along with this. Of the 200 odd products that SAS has, SAS Enterprise Miner is one of the most popular. SAS Enterprise Miner is a GUI based analytics software that is one of the most versatile and user friendly tools available in the market. It is also one of the most expensive. A lot of people wonder why most of the analytic tools involve coding and why they can't be made more user friendly. The problem is that there is a trade off between user friendliness and scalability. This is why many GUI based analytics products work wonderfully well with limited data, but become unviable for large data sets. The enterprise miner is one of the few products to have successfully tackled this issue. The product is not only very easy to learn, but also works well with large data sets. Enterprise Miner is an end-to-end -end solution for most business needs. Users can access various formats of data and they can perform many kinds of data exploration, summarization and preparation processes such as data sampling, partitioning, outlier detection and capping and a variety of statistical tests and many other things. The Enterprise Miner comes with hundreds of algorithms for predictive modeling techniques like regression, decision trees, clustering, market basket analysis, survival analysis, neural networks and many more. 
with e minor the whole process of analytics becomes very simple to perform however this does not take away the fact that the results coming out of these models still need to be interpreted and insights derived by an analyst who understands the business sas enterprise miner is essentially a very very powerful and versatile tool that could have been a lot more popular than what it is right now the reason why e miner's popularity does not match its capability is the high price tag it has very few companies have the ability to afford this product a more affordable option is base sas and a combination of a few other products from sas the most stripped down package that sas usually sells will include the following base sas sas stat sas graph and sas access to odbc these are the four products that together form the combination that is commonly called base sas or base sas plus this product is also extremely versatile however it's not as user friendly because it involves coding in the language of sas on the bottom left of the screen you can see some text in blue and uh, purple and that's essentially the coding part and you can also see the log files and the results this product again has the capability to do a lot of uh, different uh, kinds of analysis it comes preloaded with uh, different procedures and functions that uh, can be used to perform statistical analysis the cost of this product is a lot lower than the e miner and therefore this is one of the most popular analytic tools in the world while the cost of base sas is a fraction of the miner's cost it is still very high and beyond the reach of many companies wps is a cheaper alternative to base sas plus combination it's a product that reads understands and executes the language of sas just like base sas it comes loaded with built in functions and procedures to perform a host of statistical analyses the product is clearly inspired by base sas so much so that they actually had to win a court battle with the sas institute over copyright infringement while this product is not as popular as sas it has a bright future anyone trained on base sas will take very little time to adapt to wps and vice versa the interface of wps is very similar to base sas and since both the tools use the same sas language the user experience is almost identical version 3 of wps comes with wps link technology that offers the option to use the popular wps workbench user interface to connect and run programs in servers grid clusters and cloud environments so WPS has made some enhancements in its latest version. There are some enhancements to some of the popular procedures, and uh, there is additional enhancement on the GUI side as well. In the next session, we are going to cover some of the products from IBM, which is another heavyweight in the analytics field.